at first, like when I tell people it's a it's a children's show, and then they ask what it's about, and I tell you it's about death. They're kind of like, oh. Thanks to the UNI Student Theater Association, Arkansas Bear, a children's play written by Arond Harris, will be performed at the Strayerwood Theater on March 29th and 30th. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. It is a beautiful, beautiful play, and I'm just really excited that we get to put it up on its feet and discover everything about it. The play follows Tish, a young girl who is about to lose her grandpa. The girl is granted a wish in the form of a dancing bear and mime who will help her understand death. She goes through a journey of learning to accept that everybody and everything has its time to die, um, which is hard for her, but with the help of her friend Bear and the mime, uh, she realizes that, that it happens. and. You have to let the balloon go. Actress Samantha Reese fills the role of Tish and says it's been an emotional journey for her. I relate very well to this character because when I was in fourth grade, my grandpa died. And I never thought about it, like, at all after that. I was really close with him. I took it really hard. And then I just, like, repressed it. And I didn't realize that taking this role would make it all come back up. While Reese faced emotional challenges involved in the show, actor Zach Atha faced problems of a more physical variety. One of the biggest challenges, uh, which is kind of funny, I have to do this Russian dance, I think the bear calls it. So I have to do these squats, and they're really fast. And the first night I did them, I was able to do them fine, but for the next two or three days, I really couldn't walk, and I was sort of waddling along. I, all over campus because it was, I'm a little out of shape. Rehearsal for the show began in late February. Director Sam Card has used unconventional methods to get his actors in touch with their inner child. I think the biggest thing is that they've been reminded of the ability to play. A lot of times as we get old, we sort of forget that theater at its nature comes from playing pretend. And I was able to reinvite them to that aspect and to approach a show differently than you normally would. Though death seems like a heavy topic for children, actor Marty Wessels, who plays Bear, explains the methods Harris used to bring it down to a child's level. The, the bear, his biggest, one of his biggest realizations about dying is that there's no, or never going to be anyone to see his hats anymore or for him to wear his hats um, and for people not to be able to see his dance or his specific dances and things like that. So he's not as sad about not living anymore, but he's not as more so sad about people not being able to see and to enjoy these things that he loves so much. Um, and I think that's really easy for children, um, uh, children and young audiences alike to gravitate towards. Because I mean, we all have like possessions that we're very fond of um, and things that we would really hate to see, you know, not shared with the world anymore. The director and cast members all agree that it's a great show for kids to attend. The actors are having fun, they're playing kids, it's silly, it's goofy, there's pantomiming, so there's mime work going on. Uh, we have audience, uh, moments of audience interaction, so the kids get up and play with us. It really just a truly playful, fun, theatrical experience. The show is free for all attendees. For more information, visit unistaonline.org. For UNITV, I'm Emily Morrison.